just this ROM alone won't probably super improve your battery life, um, but there is a, an application called Set CPU. Again, Google is your friend. You can get it off the marketplace. Um, the marketplace uh, requires a donation to the developers, uh, which I highly recommend because it's really a great application. But if you want to try the free version, you can, again, Google it, uh, get the APK file, download it to your phone, and uh, try it out that way before you actually buy it. But I think if, if you try it out for a little bit, you're really going to like the ROM. I'm going to install it quick because I just put it on my, um, my phone. It's on my card right now, so I'm going to go into the Astro File Viewer. Um, and we'll look for it somewhere in here, Set CPU. Um, I guess I'm not looking at the SD card. It would help to look in the right place when you do this. So here's Set CPU. I'm going to say Open in the App Manager. I'm going to install it, and it's going to give me a warning that I don't have the settings set up right for security reasons. This probably won't work on if you're using some phones, but it will work on the, the Evo and most all phones. So now i got to go back and kind of repeat that again. Set CPU, open in the App Manager. This time we'll be good to go. We'll install it. Application finished, done. And then we just want to run this guy out of the home menu. So we'll come over here to set CPU. Uh, and start the application. Um, I'm going to do the auto detect speeds. It seems like a good, simple thing to do. It's requesting root on the phone, so obviously we couldn't run this if we hadn't rooted the phone. The settings are saved, and right now it's just showing like some settings that we have here running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn set on boot, and I'm going to jack this up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do something conservative like 1152 megahertz, um, and I'm going to set it for, I guess conservative sounds pretty good. We'll start there. I don't want to lock it the phone up. I know it'll run stable at this frequency, but with this baked snack ROM, we can go much, much higher. I'm not going to bother with that, though. Play at your own risk. For profiles, I'm going to go ahead and enable one. I'm going to turn on the notifications, too, and I'm going to add a profile. And the profile I'm going to set is just um, screen off. And one thing I like to do when my screen's off is just jack everything down to the minimum and set it to conservative and jack that priority up. So that just kind of, um, you know, anytime the screen is turned off in my pocket, it's going to turn the um, processor down to 2.45, I'm sorry, 245 megahertz. So I think that's a really cool one to have. I'm sure there's better optimizations, but I just want to give you an idea like what you can do with the set CPU. Um, and I put it in my notification bar as well. So I can come up here and see like what I'm running. It's running 11 feet. And you can see it toggling. Right now it's stepped it down to 245. As applications and things need it, um, it will turn it up to 1152. Um, so it's it's basically scaling. You don't get this if you just bought the phone from Sprint. Like I said, it's pegged at 1 gigahertz all the time, no matter what's going on, even if it's in your pocket with the screen off, which like just blows the shit out of your battery. So, real cool program. Make sure you support the guys over at XDA um, and give them a donation for this.